Coming up in today's video, we'll be looking at Blackburn's form guide and team news. We'll also hear from Newcastle fans, their predictions on the game. We'll get on the whiteboard with Newcastle's predicted lineup. And of course, we'll get on the floor with the Subito and tactics. Hello Newcastle fans, TV. welcome to the preview of Blackburn. As we all know, they, they defeated us at St. Bridges Park uh, roughly about six games ago. That was a horrible show in that St. Bridges Park, so we can't ever repeat performance of that. So we're all going to be planning a video on Newcastle's two new signers. I've been obviously been it's all over social media at the moment of Juanito and Tyreek Bartlett as well. So we'll be doing a special video once the club announces them to youngsters at the club. But also aware of the Tom Cleverly rumoured bid to have happened as well. But obviously we'll do it officially when it comes out as well. So as you know on the intro there we're going to obviously look at Blackburn. We're also going to have a, have a look at the fan cams predictions. Uh, which recorded the other day as well. Uh, we'll also get on the whiteboard and we'll also get on the Subitio as well. So it's another in-depth game for you which is live on sky which is tomorrow which is a three o'clock kickoff let's begin with the form guide what we normally do is uh, blackburn let's have a look so let's get it on screen for you here where chris nacho is so the last six results uh, they got a good 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 point good point against huddersfield one one away a poor result away for barnsley two nil defeat uh, they drew uh, sorry they didn't draw they got beat off brighton three two at home uh, they got beat up pressing their local rivals three two as well again they drew huddersfield uh, one one and of course they beat us away at St James's Park, which was a very disappointing result. Uh, looking at the reform guide then, so they picked up five points from that uh, six games. Pretty poor. It's very similar to the last fixture that we've just had in our just gone, where the teams, the team like the Forest have suffered since beating us and Blackburn have as well. Just won the one, that was against us. Drawn two, lost three, scored seven. We've got ten against, they're shipping in a lot of goals. Um, Danny Graham is on fire at the moment. He is the man on fire. The Newcastle supporter, funny enough, former Macam as well. He's on nine goals as far, so far this season, but in the last six games, he's got like seven or six, seven goals. So he's doing really well. And obviously Sam Gallagher as well has also got nine. Team news for Blackburn. Uh, we think that Marshall, who has missed the last two games, may come back into it. So he'll be assessed. Uh, Lowe's back from suspension as well. Lenehan is still banned. And Ward, Henley and Hobbin are still injured. They'll play a 4-4-2. Let's get it on screen for you, the lineups. So we think, like I said, they'll play a 4-4-2 and they'll go with Steele and Goal. Um, it'll either be Low or Marshall come at right back, but I'm going to go for Marshall if he makes it. And then Greer and Mulgrew, there's two centre-backs. Williams at left back. Feeney on the right. Now Evans is a doubt. That's just come out with this. So I think that Low will come in if Evans is a doubt. Akpan in the centre. Conway on the left. Grave was in great form, as I mentioned. I think Gallagher will come back in because Emnes started last time. Blackburn strengths. Let's have a look at their strengths. Again, get it on screen for you. So they're very good at set pieces. Coming back also from losing positions. Um, the style that they like to play. They like long balls. Uh, they will also predominantly tack down the left flank. Uh, Own Coyle very rarely rotates as well. They're quite aggressive also, and they'll also mix around in the own half. They'll play possession with the, with the defence. They're quite comfortable. Similar to how like, Newcastle are as well. The weaknesses, uh, defending against counter-attacks, which Newcastle didn't really get much out of joy out of St. James's Park. Uh, defending set pieces, they're not great. They do get caught offside a lot as well. So I expect Newcastle to probably be a higher line than normal. And defending from the wings and also through balls, they're not very great at as well. Uh, let's have a look at what the fans predicted on the fan cams the other day of this result. 2-1 Newcastle, because that's what the score was when I played them on FIFA. <laughs> our away form is excellent. If we could trans translate our away form to home form, it would be brilliant. I think we'll do Blackburn. I think it'll be 2-1. Uh, and we'll march on. I think I'm going to go for one of our 2 0 wins, get a goal in the first half, sit back, catch him on the break, prophecy someone like Atsu, like he did at Wigan, to get the second goal to, to score a second at Blackburn as well. Probably going to go 3 0 Newcastle. I don't know if that's too optimistic, but hopefully they can get three points. Um, I will get revenge on them and win quite comfortably 2 0. Could be a tough one, to be honest. Um, I'd probably say 1 or 2 0. I'll see how they get on uh, tomorrow. So that's what the fans thought on fan cams. Let me know what you think of your opinions down there below. And what we're going to do now is jump over the whiteboard and have a look at the predictions and the lineups and tactics and so on. Right, okay, so here we are on the whiteboard. This week we're not doing Blackburn. What you've got here is dots. This is how Blackburn's formation plays. It's a simple 4-4-2. We're not going to run through too much of Blackburn. We're going to just talk about Newcastle because obviously you don't want the video going on forever and ever. Right, so I think they'll go with Darlow. And I do think you'll bring a neater in for this game. I think Lascelles, Clark and Dummett will keep their places. Richie on the right-hand side, Hayden and Colback. Unfortunately, they, those two are not great in partnership. I 
Let us know what you think, because I think there will be these two. I think Gufran will come in for Atsu. I think Atsu will come off the bench. I think Diomi will come in for Perez and Gale up top on his own. Right. Okay, so we all know that African Cup of Nations is approaching, and this is the last game for the likes of Mbemba, Diomi, and Atsu. We know that Lazar has been overlooked, and Chiote hasn't been picked for the Ivory Coast for over a year now. So uh, we will say this is the last game. So uh, some people might say, well, he may as well start Atsu because of it, but I don't think he will. One of these two has to take ownership and say, right, I'm that man getting forward. You stay put. You stay here. They have to talk to each other. For me, I think Hayden's better going forward than what Kobach is. So Hayden has the license for me to get forward. Kobach sits. But I think this man will come in and he needs to get a, get a performance out of him before he buggers off um, to the African Cup of Nations. Because I, I think Prez for me was pretty poor. Uh, generally, I thought um, spits and spells, he'd done a couple of flicks, but... You, I don't know what it is about our Jose Perez, but for me, Diame, and then to get this guy service, go for and get your balls in. Richie, this is down to you. Also, Diame, feed him. And also, Hayden as well, I feel. Uh, get your, get your fullbacks bombing on. Dumb it. Get yourself a license to get forward, man. Get forward. These two just talk to each other because Sam Gallagher and uh, Danny Graham, especially Danny Graham, is on fire at the moment. So these two need to be obviously talking to each other, as well as callbacks sitting as well. So for me, this week, it's all about the wing. Wing. Get on the Subitio and let's see how the rules affect it on the pitch. So we're going to look at the defence first. So I'm behind the camera. I'm just going to lean over and you'll see myself. So we're looking at here. Now I feel this guy needs a license to get forward. Paul Dummett. I don't think it'll be Lazar. So we need Paul Dummett to bomb on. I know we don't see it much and it's probably not in Dummett's nature. We'll obviously move on to midfield in a moment if you guys are wondering. These two have got to talk to each other. Because they're playing against two up top, and it's not often that Newcastle come up against two strikers. So Graham will be running all over the place. Gallagher will be quite static. He'll want the ball to feet. So he'll want the ball to his head, to his feet, and then he can play it out wide, you know. So that's how Gall that's Gallagher's game. These two, and you'll probably have to say Callback in particular as well, needs to obviously shift across as well to keep out any dangers. I do think that Blackburn will play very, very deep though. Right, okay, so we're in midfield now. Right, so as I will just mentioned there, if we leave Callback to hang fire, I feel, because I, there is no any options. Yeah, you could play Richie in centre midfield, but do you think Rafa will? I feel Hayden needs to get forward. He needs to be the link. He needs to be that link with him and Diame. Because Perez suffered last, last game. Maybe you might say, yeah, Perez had a bad, poor game, but Perez was not getting the ball in this area. If Hayden can get forward... That'll allow a Diame to spin off and do whatever Diame wants to do in support of Gale in particular. So Hayden needs that license to get forward. Let's put him back in position. Let's go over to the left wing. Now I feel that you'll go with Gufran. Although I'd personally like to say Atsu because Gufran will work hard and you'll also cut him in as well. That's, that's the thing that Gufran's got. He can come in and that'll also, if you remember, if you've got Hayden bombing on as well, he's got options coming in field and that's why I think that Paul Dummett is so key Get forward, get a license forward, do the overlap, you know. Let's have a look at the other wing. On the other wing, I think we're pretty okay on the other wing because I think that Richie, I don't think we we'll need to worry about Richie too much because we know that Richie will like to come in anyways and he likes to come in, he likes to hover in around this position. So Richie likes to hover in this position and that's why I feel that it's important that Anita gets on his bike. Uh, yes, you probably say Yedlin's better at that, but I think you'll go for Nita uh, this time around because it's not often he drops two games running for Nita. And then, speaking of Diame, this man, like I said, if Hayden can get up forward, Diame needs to see a lot of the ball. We know he's got power and, and pace. When, he, when he's playing against Birmingham, he's running down this kind of area. And then, remember his goal when he crossed it in for Gale and Gale headed in at the net, you know? Gale needs service. Uh, he's bang on fire. We know we want to see Mitrovic. We all know that. But, like I said, Gufran, he can get forward. Diame get forward. Richie will do his thing. This man just needs this kind of area where it's a cross coming in. Gale will literally fire it in. You know, he's, he's a poacher. Give the lad service. That's how I think Newcastle can win the game. Looking at Blackburn coming this way, like I said, I think it's just these guys. They've just got to look after these two. And possibly, yeah, Gufran track his ring and Richie track his ring. But I don't think... Yes, Blackburn were very solid St. James's Park, but I don't think they're a massive threat. They're in 22nd position for a reason. So that's the uh, preview. Hope you like it. In-depth preview for you guys. Uh, a little bit of a mixture of everything there. Uh, I do have to point out, obviously, um, a big massive thank you to Rob Spiral if I pronounce that Rob. I met Rob in the fan cams. You would have seen him earlier on in the fan cams with the glasses. 
Um, he actually uh, give give us a gift of the Newcastle United figures down there on the floor as well. So thank you very much, Rob. Um, absolutely privileged. Thank you. I offered the money, but he said no. What a gentleman. Let me know score predictions. What do you know? That what do you think of the video as well? Uh, do you like it? Um, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV, and we'll see you later.